Hi guys. In my previous concept, I discussed about some electrical circuit symbols. So just like cell, battery, open switch, closed switch, wire joint, crossover joint, and electric bulb, and ammeter, voltmeter, resistance, and variable resistance or rheostat. So these are the symbols we will use in circuit to draw. So today's class, I would like to discuss a very very important concept in this chapter, which is known as Ohm's law. So Ohm's law gives a relationship between potential difference across a conductor and the current flowing through it. This is a very very important relation. So this Ohm's law gives the relation between potential difference. We used to represent potential difference with V and current I. So what is the relation between potential difference and current? So let us see about it with the help of a simulation. Here I connected a circuit, a circuit used a cell, a switch and a bulb. Suppose if I switch on, if I switch on, you can see the current is flowing. Now we need to find the relationship, in, relationship between potential V and current I which is flowing at here. Now what happens if I increase the potential difference? Suppose I am having an option at here. If I increase the potential difference. Now I am potential difference is increasing. Now you can see the movement of electrons. Electrons motion. Are they moving fast? Yeah, they are moving fast. If electrons are moving fast. So then we can define that it means current is more. The evidence also you can see. Here the bulb is glowing very brightly. Now if I decrease the amount of potential difference voltage now I decreased. Now here you notice that the charges here the electrons they are moving very slow. Now we can find that evidence in the bulb the bulb brightness is less. Yeah, can we guess now is there any relationship between the potential difference and current? Yeah, obviously there is a relationship between potential difference and current. What is this relationship? It means if voltage increases or potential difference increases, is current is increasing or decreasing? That's what we want to see. So if I increase the potential difference, now I am increasing the potential difference. Now here it is 25 volts. Now if I increase to 33 volts, you notice the amount of current in the circuit. Yeah, the current is also increasing. So we can say that as proportionally. It means when voltage increases, so I increasing voltage increasing I am using a symbol increasing and what happens to current current is also increasing so mathematically we can write that as voltage is directly proportional to current so this is the symbol known as directly proportional to directly proportional means if voltage increases current is also increases so we can represent that in terms of mathematically this symbol which is known as directly proportional to now this is observed by a german scientist physicist o so this relation we say in terms of a ohms law so ohms law says 
ohm's law says a small relation voltage is directly proportional to current i can call this voltage or potential difference both are same because potential difference units are volts so there is a relationship between potential difference and current so that relationship is directly proportional now if i increase further more now current amount is more so that's the reason the brightness of the bulb is more now if i decrease the potential difference or voltage the current in the circuit is less now the bulb is glowing very low now there is a relationship between that relationship is directly proportional to voltage is directly proportional to current now usually we remove this proportionality symbol and we make it equal so that we will do in mathematics i want to write voltage is equal to by removing proportionality symbol so by the time we can bring a constant so the constant times current so the above expression we will write like this so this kind of notation you already know from class from your lower classes so here the constant we are calling a new character which is known as resistance so here constant is known as resistance now i rewrite the ohm's law ohm's law is nothing but v equal to the potential difference v equal to the product of resistance times current v equal to ir which is a simple formula known as ohm's law v equal to ir now here i introduce a new character it is known as this character known as resistance what is this resistance let us talk about that resistance is something which do not allow current to flow freely so to understand resistance i am asking a straight question at you the question is why this connecting wire is not glowing why the connecting wire which is connected to in the circuit that is not glowing why the wire inside the bulb which is known as filament why the filament wire is glowing i hope you got my question my question here it is why the wire which is connected inside the bulb giving light and why the connecting wires which are connected in the circuit they are not giving light what could be the reason what is your guess yeah the t is right guess i think you are thinking what i am thinking what i am thinking is that so these connecting wires are made up of conductors just like copper or aluminum these are copper wires because they are having more free electrons now ask a ask a question so is this filament is also made up of copper the answer is no this filament is made up of tungsten tungsten is a, just like a material a conducting material so which is used to make electric bulb filaments tungsten now what is the speciality in this tungsten material and what is the speciality in the copper and aluminum materials are they both are conductors yeah they both are conductors but one is giving more light and one is not giving any light 
that is we can use a word that in the copper material do not offer no any kind of resistance the copper is a good conductor a good conductor if it is a good conductor its resistance is less its resistance is low very low but tungsten is not a good conductor through tungsten material the electrons are very difficult to flow because the tungsten having very high resistance so this material having high resistance now here the resistance also a characteristic for a conductors and insulators now here we can use that word insulators i think you know the what is the difference between conductors and insulators through which of them current flows very easily yeah through conductors current flows easily what about insulators insulators are bad conductors just like paper wood plastic rubber so those are known as insulators so insulator having more property of resistance to insulators resistance value is high but to conductors resistance value is low now this resistance is a character for a given material how would we know that we will know by applying ohm's law let us apply ohm's law for a copper voltage is directly proportional to current so in copper material when voltage increases current is also increases so we can say that by removing proportionality constant v equal to i r so for copper material resistance is less if resistance is less then only current is more so this is for copper material a conductor so how we can write for insulator everything i am here writing just understand it carefully and rewrite in your own copy carefully now for insulator for insulator when voltage increases what happens the current value decreases yeah current is not flowing why because if you can write like this so v equal to i r when current value is less but voltage is more so this less quantity should balance by some other what is that some other that is resistance so finally i will say and conclude at here for insulators resistance is more and for conductors resistance is less but tungsten having the property of resistance so that resistance is caused to glow we can talk about that in later so i can go ahead by saying a comment at here ohm's law voltage is directly proportional to current so we can remove the proportionality symbol by making equal by replacing a constant which is known as r times i so here the three characters v is potential difference and r is resistance and i is current voltage is directly proportional to current now when increase voltage the current value increases so this we can draw a graph the graph between current versus voltage 
so when voltage increases current value also increases so the graph between voltage and current represents a straight line a straight line which passing through origin so here it is evidence when you in, when you decrease the voltage the current value decreases and when you increase the voltage the current value increases so if you plot a graph the graph becomes a straight line now in mathematics we know how to calculate its slope the slope means the y component upon x component so suppose if i calculate the slope at here i i have to divide voltage upon current so the slope of graph because r equal to v upon i now the slope of graph gives the resistance the slope of voltage versus current graph gives resistance so this is how we will calculate the resistance from a given graph or we will calculate the resistance by using ohm's law v equal to i r so the relation from ohm's law r equal to v upon i so the units for resistance if you can write the voltage resistance as volts and the current resistance as ampere if you can divide these two voltage upon amperes we can get a new units which is known as ohm so in symbolic manner we can represent that like this just you can draw a parallel line then you can give a bump and again you draw a line and this is symbol for ohm so resistance is the character of a given material so finally i can conclude the resistance is the property of a conductor to resist the flow of current through it resistance is the property of a conductor a new property for a conductor which is known as resistance according to ohm's law r equal to v upon i the resistance of sorry the si unit of resistance equal to ohm we define one ohm at here suppose i want to say one ohm i can say from this formula r equal to v upon i suppose if i apply one volt potential difference to a given circuit so in the circuit one ampere current is flowing then the circuit offers a resistance of 1 ohm everything is 1 1 1 if the potential difference across the two ends of a wire is equal to 1 ohm and current through it is 1 ampere then the resistance of conductor is defined as 1 ohm so 1 ohm or unit ohm is important definition at here please learn it since i equal to v by r the current flowing through a resistor is inversely proportional so the relation between current and resistance current is inversely proportional to resistance it means if resistance is more whatever the value of current current value is less that's the reason through copper wire current flows more but through tungsten wire the current flows less because the resistance is more to the tungsten wires as a graphical representation we can represent a graph the potential difference versus current so it will draw a straight line and the slope and the slope of the curve this curve slope slope of the curve gives resistance you should learn from mathematics how to 
calculate slope of a given line just we need to divide the y component upon x component suppose this is a conductor which is showing it here this conductor having resistance of 10 ohm so this is the conducting now here i am having controller of potential difference suppose if i increase the potential difference the resistance is constant at here the constant resistance how much applied 10 ohm now we can see the amount of current when we increase the potential difference now the current value is increasing more and more or when you decrease the potential difference the current value in the circuit is decreases suppose if a resistance is constant or suppose if i apply certain voltage 1.5 let me apply now this time i am changing resistance now if i increase the resistance when we increase the resistance what happens the current value decreases so this is shows the inverse relation between current and resistance when resistance decreases current increases when the resistance increases current decreases if the potential difference is constant or suppose if i apply a resistance is constant now let me take a resistance of 100 ohms uh, let me use 100 ohms now what is the relation between voltage and current for a given material so this conductor now its resistance is 100 ohm which is constant what ohm's law says voltage is directly proportional to current it means when i increase the voltage so what the current value is supposed to be the current value should increases for a given conductor because the conductor having the property of resistance that property do not change until unless if you change the material suppose i have taken certain material so that material having a resistance of 101 ohm now to that material i am decreasing the voltage now ohm's law says voltage is directly proportional to current when you decrease the voltage the current value also decreases so this is how the relation between voltage and current and this is how the relation between current and resistance when resistance increases for a given conductor the current value decreases on when the current value decreases for a given conductor resistance is increases so here the resistance is the material property conductors having low resistance and insulators having high resistance because of high resistance only through insulator current conduction is not taking place this is all about ohm's law